how to keep your girlfriend. So, you've been watching my videos for a while and you've actually gone out and used my advice to get yourself a girlfriend or two or even three if you're this guy. First of all, congratulations because so many guys watch hundreds of YouTube videos on how to pick up girls or how to get a girlfriend or how to become a sex god and they never even try to use the advice. I mean, like what the fuck? What's the point of watching all these videos and taking someone's advice but never actually using it? You might as well watch nothing and quit wasting your time if you're not going to be an action taker and actually do something about it. Okay, all right, rant over. Excuse me, but sometimes my cup of passion does overflow. But now that you went out and actually did something, like I said, kudos to you. I'm going to teach you how to keep the relationship strong and make sure your girlfriend stays into you. Number one, keep doing what you did to get her. If a girl likes you because you're confident, goal-driven, and a lot of fun to be around, then you suddenly stop doing all those things once you start dating. Then she's going to stop liking you. It's simple. It's like if you go and try a sample of cologne and you're like, holy fuck, this shit is awesome. Then you get the whole bottle and then it ends up smelling like shit. You'd be fucking pissed, right? Hell, I know. I would be. I'd be like, what the fuck kind of false advertising is this? I'd get my receipt and return that bitch immediately. This is why it's important to be real and upfront with a girl from the start, instead of pretending like you're somebody else because she'll eventually find out and it'll just end up being a waste of everyone's time. You still have to be the confident, high-status guy that you were when you tried getting her. It's like I've said in previous videos. If you're a loser and you get a girlfriend, you're still just a loser with a girlfriend. Number two, be confident, and more importantly, stay confident. Bro, she's your girlfriend. She likes you. She wants to be with you. She calls you her boyfriend. She's in a relationship with you because you are the only guy she wants to be with. See what I did there? It's called logic. So use that knowledge and be confident in yourself and your ability to satisfy her in your relationship. If you're constantly insecure and seeking her reassurance in the relationship, then it's going to turn her off and actually make her like you less. You need to keep in mind the fact that she started to like you because you're confident and you're able to be that ideal guy she wants to be with because if you weren't, then she'd just leave you. Duh! Number 3. Be somebody that she wants to be with. If you're based like me, then you can get any girl you want, and the girls you're with know that, so they value you higher. This is why really successful guys get the hottest girls. They have a high perceived value, which makes women want them because of that perceived value. You can elevate your value by being confident, being a fun guy to hang out with, being successful at school, work, in your life in general, and by also having a really killer style. This is also another reason why stylish guys always get more girls. It's because their style elevates their status and makes people want to be around them. A really easy way to elevate your style is to wear a watch. And if you're looking for classic designs that are simple yet sleek, then I suggest checking out our partner at Movement. They sell super clean, minimalistic watches at ridiculously affordable prices. These watches are a subtle yet dope way to signal people that you're fashionable and pay attention to details because these watches are minimal and timeless. My favorites are the Gunmetal Sandstone, the White Caramel, and the Revolver Bronze Age. These watches start at under 100 bucks, and if you use my link and code, you'll get an additional 10% off. I'll have them linked below for you to check out and make sure you're dressing like someone your girl wants to be with. Number 4. Relax. You've already done the hard part, which is getting the girl. Now that she's your girlfriend, you can relax and take the relationship in whatever direction you'd like because you guys already know each other well and are really comfortable with one another. If she's your girlfriend, you should not be overthinking your interactions or constantly trying to make sure she's still into you because then you'll come off as really insecure. Besides, having a girlfriend and being in a relationship should be fun, not stressful, which brings me to my next point. At the end of the day, don't overthink this shit. You did all the hard work in getting her, so just keep being the badass base limpian that you are and she'll be coming back to you for more and more. Number 5. Don't overreact. Don't overreact to little petty shit. Don't take things too seriously. Be fun and playful. And more importantly, enjoy your time with her because that's the reason you chose her to be your girlfriend in the first place. The main thing is just keeping a sharp mindset after you and the girl become a couple. A lot of guys start acting like pussies around their new girlfriends for some reason and that's why a lot of teenage relationships end so fast. Don't get carried away by your emotions. Stay on top. Focus on getting better every day and just stay based as fuck. And there's no way any girl would ever want to leave you. In summary, do what you did to get her. Stay confident. Be someone she wants to be with. Relax. And don't overreact. 
And don't forget the movement dope watches that you and her will both love. There's a 10% off link in the description. 